Local high school seniors had the opportunity to simulate what it's like to drive impaired. WENY's Lindsay Madison attended that event and reports. Seniors at Corning Painted Post High School got a lesson on the dangers of impaired driving through an interactive simulation. Well, I didn't crash, but I veered out of the road many, many times because I was trying to answer questions on a phone that I didn't really even know the answer to. The Save a Life Tour brought two driving simulations to the school's auditorium. Students lined up and watched as their peers tried to text and drive or drive impaired. It did impair me from uh, a good amount because of my, my vision was blurred um, through the simulation and that made it hard to see oncoming traffic and then like it also um, I guess like the calibration of like the brakes um, they made them less sensitive so it was hard to you know stop correctly. Hunter Miles is the manager for the Save a Life Tour. He hopes people use the resources around them to avoid driving distracted. We also have too many resources to have an excuse for uh, texting and driving. We can always put our phone on do not disturb mode. No text has ever been worth my life and I think you can agree. Miles also said no text is more important when someone is driving and nothing is too important for our lives. With the rise of uh, just more people with technology, especially younger students and those being the ones who are just starting to drive, I think uh, driving home the message that no one needs their phone while they're behind the wheel is uh, super important, especially for the next generation. The main takeaway from the Save a Life Tour is that no one should be driving impaired, sleepy, or distracted while driving. It can wait. In Corning, I'm Lindsay Madison, WENY News.